Hey guys, how big is your shaft? That's what I want to talk to you about today. More specifically, what does spline count have to do with shaft size? All that coming up. Hey guys, it's Matt with bleepinjeep.com. If you're new here, we have the best off-road how-to content on the interwebs. We do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that little subscribe button right up there and click the like button if you are. Let's get started. So when I built the Scorpion Crawler, I ordered the special 30 spline unit bearings. Some people call them hubs, axle bearings, uh, whatever, but they're actually called unit bearings. So I ordered these special with 30 splines. Now what does that mean? Well, if you know anything about your axle, if you've watched my videos before, you know that this is your axle shaft here. So this goes to the pumpkin in the center of the differential. And then this allows the tires and the wheels to move back and forth. And this is what's called the outer axle shaft right here, or the stub shaft. So the stub shaft stock has 27 splines so if you were to count each one of these little splines right here there would be 27 of them but whenever you want to upgrade you can buy a 30 spline outer and you can buy a 30 spline unit bearing to match so that way they both fit together. You have to have, if this is 30 spline uh, stub shaft, you have to have a 30 spline unit bearing because they have to fit together. But what does that mean? Why is it stronger? Okay, to try to explain it, let's take a look at this whiteboard here and let's take a cross section of the stub shaft. Let's pretend that we've got a, let's take it to the extreme. We'll pretend that we've got a 10 spline shaft. So if you have a 10 spline shaft, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's your splines. You've got ten of them. Now look at the center of that shaft. Look at how big it is. Now let's do the same thing but with thirty splines. I'm just going to pretend here that we've got thirty splines. Okay? Now look at the difference in the actual meat of the shaft. Since the, since the splines are smaller on the 30 spline than they are on the 10 spline, you get more meat of the shaft. Okay, so another way to look at that, nowadays all splines are pretty much the same size. So each one of these is pretty much the same size on a um, you know, whether you have a 27 spline, or a 30 spline, or a 35 spline. So, another way to look at this is, how many splines does it take to fit? Let's say you have the meat of the shaft right here, and you can get 27 splines on the outside of this. Okay, but now let's say you wanted to add three more splines to make that a 30 spline. Well, instead of just making the splines smaller, the splines have to be the same size. So to get 30 splines out of it, you have to make a little bit bigger shaft. Even though the splines are the same, there's your 27 spline, and you have to add three more splines to make that a 30 spline. And you can see that one is bigger than the other because you needed that extra space to add those three more splines right there. And we can confirm that by taking a 30 spline unit bearing and matching it up with a 27 spline axle shaft. And you can see that it doesn't, it fits way down inside there and still has a lot of wiggle room. So that tells you that this is much smaller, this is the 27 spline, is much smaller than the 30 spline. So in conclusion, a bigger shaft is always better. It really has nothing to do with the unit bearing it has everything to do with the size of the shaft. Um, but you have to mate it on this side. So if you have you know, a 30 spline on this side, you have to have a 30 spline on this side. And that's the only reason for the 30 spline unit bearing. 
So this application is not just for off-road. You see this all the time in um, drag racing and that kind of thing too. You know, you can go all the way up to um, 35 spline. Anytime you have two driveline components meeting together, you're going to have splines. So you have splines on the output shaft of your transmission, on the output shaft of your transfer cases. Um, you've got splines on the inside by the carrier. Uh, you can even get these with different splines on the carrier side. So the more splines, the better because it's going to lead to a bigger shaft. All right, guys, I got to get out of here before I get shafted. By the way, Omix Ada is the one who makes that unit bearing, and they come in a package if you want with the outer shaft as well. So I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to check that out. If you're not already, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video because we're going to be doing a review on a truck bed liner. And in the comments section below, let me know how big is your shaft. All transmissions have been cancelled